AJ Ryzik here. Today we're going to take a look at Zubuntu 14.10. Now for those of you that saw my Ubuntu 14.10 release review, you probably remember that I said, you know, it's a good distribution and all, but nothing really new. Unfortunately, we basically got the same thing here. Uh, now I don't want to knock the, uh, the Zubuntu uh, 14.10 release because it is a good distribution. I'm just saying that if you're looking for new features, there's really nothing here. Uh, really, no new bug fixes. Uh, I, other than you know a few little minor things here and there, I really don't see anything different. And once again, it, it's not a bad distribution or anything like that. And I've been a, a big XFCE fan for a long time, so I, I really like Zubuntu as a distribution. I'm just saying that, yeah. Nothing new here. Um, let me go and pull over. Here's uh, the Zubuntu blog page. Talks about the release a little bit. Down here in the highlights, known issues. So what's new? We've got this new XFCE Power Manager plugin. And if you look up on the top panel right here, this little plug looking thing, if you click on that, it gets you your, your Power Manager settings. And it's like okay that's cool um, but so what you know before we had a tray icon and it basically did the same thing so yeah uh, like I said okay so, kind of so what um, the other new things is uh, let's see uh, the new theming okay let me talk about that for a minute so we've got this new wallpaper. Okay, that's you know kind of cool. Kind of gives an angular look to the mouse head. Uh, you know, it looks like two triangles for the uh, for the, for the mouse whiskers now. But uh, you know, it's a decent looking wallpaper. And if you go and click on desktop properties, look at the different wallpapers. You've got not a huge selection, but there there's a few there. Of course, you know, adding new wallpapers, no big deal there. Uh, but you can see the highlights are this purplish pink. I don't even know what you want to call it. Like, yeah, I guess is that magenta? I don't know. I I tend to see things in primary colors, but uh, who thought that was a good idea? Um, I mean, seriously. Like I've always said, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and what one person likes as far as colors and whatnot another's not gonna like but who thought that was a good idea seriously <laughs> luckily you can go into your settings manager and get rid of that right away um, if you go to I think it's under is it appearance it's either appearance or theme there it is you can get rid of the just get rid of the custom highlights click apply and you can get rid of that night or you could go and leave the custom highlights and just change it to something else something that fits your preference you know whatever works for you but to me you know the 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 pink and the blue it just does not go together at all I don't know maybe uh, maybe I'm just being a little critical there but to me that just you know, it doesn't work <laughs> Uh, okay, so we've got those things going on, and other than that, that is about it for new features. And now we got down here listed some known issues, and these are essentially same known issues that we we've had before. Um, this one's really kind of. Um, aggravating right here the QT apps don't use the GTK plus style by default and there's a workaround to install QT4 config and then set the styles from there and I'll show you what I mean you know you've got this nice smooth GTK look here in this window that's open and then let me drag over simple screen recorder and it kinda looks yucky old school like we're still back in you know Windows 95 or something like that um, something that you know why couldn't you fix this I don't know once again I'm being maybe I'm being kinda critical but 
again this seems like simple fixes to me because we've seen these same errors pop up before why uh, you know why are we still dealing with them well now that I've got my moaning and groaning out of the way let's take a look at the distribution itself like I said you know all of my moaning and groaning aside that I already you know got got out of my system this is a good distribution I've always liked XFCE uh, mix it with uh, Ubuntu base and and it's it's a great workhorse it's fairly lightweight uh, actually lighter than uh, than say um, uh, the the Ubuntu Mate um, not quite as light as uh, as Lubuntu uh, but it's uh, it's pretty light there um, I think on my uh, on my system monitor, I was, I was running uh, 220, 225, 230 on uh, megs of RAM. Uh, CPU was barely showing anything when I was running at idle. Of course, now that I'm running, you know, I'm I'm rocking my screen recorder and the webcam and you know stuff in the background. Yeah, it's 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 up now, but still fairly lightweight distribution. And I think. You know, you um, but or Zubuntu, and, and also to some extent um, uh, the the new Ubuntu Mate, they've they've kind of hit a real nice mix of their their lightweight but not really lacking in features. Because, like I said, you can go even lighter with, say, Lubuntu or just staying strictly with a window manager like Fluxbox or, or maybe even Openbox. But then you end up, you really start losing a lot of features that uh, you know, most modern desktop users have come to expect. I think that, uh, you know, like I said, this is a pretty good compromise on lightweight while still retaining features. Uh, we're still using what's called the whisker menu, which gives you a nice, it's not, it's a little more than the simple uh, drop down menus. You've got a search bar, so like let's say, for example, I wanted to look at oh, Firefox, just start typing in, and it'll give you a list of things that you could find with that name. So you got a real nice search engine there. Uh, this can be tweaked. Uh, using the uh, where is it there it is menu editor I think they use menu libre for the menu editor yeah menu libre which allows you to tweak uh, not only how that menu looks but what's listed in different categories and whatnot there's different actions and advanced stuff that uh, that you can do with that and actually, you know, I've had I've had a few people that asked me to do a little tutorial on working with Menu Libre on, you know, how to tweak that menu up. So that might be in the works pretty soon. All right, we still use Thunar for our file manager, and it's a you know it's a decent file manager, um, nothing really special, um, but it is a fairly decent workhorse got most of your basic functions that you'd look for in a file manager. There's stuff that I would like to see that aren't included by default. I prefer to have a dual pane view. We don't have that. Uh, I also prefer to be able to open something as root. We don't have that. If you say you right click that, you don't have a open as root option. I would love to see that. Now there, there is, um, you can go and uh, add a script so that you can open as root and uh, you know I may go and do a video on on that as well uh, just because normally if I'm using say Zubuntu or any other XFCE distribution as my uh, as my main driver or on my laptop whatever I always add that open as root because I find it really really uh, useful tool there let's take a look at some of the other applications that we've got here um, like I said most of this stuff is standard stuff nothing nothing special or whatever but they've done a good job of where they could picking lightweight um, applications 
a mouse pad for your text editors, a, a real basic note taking application. Your terminal is a very basic terminal. XF burn for your uh, DVD CD burning needs. That's another fairly lightweight application. Um, not much in the way of games. Go to graphics, you just got a simple document viewer. GIMP in its basic form, which is pretty much what we have here, is fairly lightweight. Um, it does tend to be somewhat of a resource hog when you start adding a lot of plugins and extensions to it. So this is one of those kind of, yeah, depending on how on how you set it up, it may or may not be heavy or lightweight. Um, got our image viewer and our scanning utility. Internet, this is pretty standard stuff. Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird transmission. Personally, <clears throat> excuse me, I would go with something other than Thunderbird if I was trying to make this a fairly lightweight distribution. Um, Gary is my personal preference. Claws Mail would be another one. Um, Syphilite is another one. Uh, Thunderbird, I don't know, once again, it's Thunderbird's not too bad on the resources in its most basic form, but the re, it, it can become pretty resource intensive if you start adding a lot of the extensions to it. Let's see, down here money in multimedia, let's see, I added cheese um, and also simple screen recorder and VLC just because I needed them for, for my video, for, for producing the videos. Uh, G Music Browser, real simple music uh, browser there, uh, and also XF Burn. And then an office, rather than a full office suite, we do have Abbey Word, G Numeric for your... Um, spreadsheet needs the, the uh, orange calendar orange globe time uh, your PDF document viewer and a dictionary and then of course our settings now down here in systems um, we got gigolo for our um, internet connection needs synaptic package where I did add that just because I hate working with the Ubuntu software center of course I say that in every Ubuntu based video that I do. So all of my regular viewers, you know, you know I uh, how much I detest the, the software center. But anyway, so I installed that. Uh and then you also got this task manager which shows you a breakdown of you know your CPU and RAM usage for all your various applications right there. Um so you can see right now I'm only using like seven percent of my memory. My 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 gripe on this uh, task manager, as far as showing the CPU and memory usage, is it tells you uh, the the total as a percentage. I'd rather see the number of megabytes because you know for for you watching my video here, seven percent doesn't tell you anything because you don't know how much my how much RAM I've got to begin with you know and and you know just to let you know I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM on this on this uh, um, desktop so you know you can kinda of do the math to figure out how much of my memory I'm using but my point being is I would like it to say you know you're using 650 megabytes of RAM just a little gripe, but you know, why should you have to sit there and do the math on that? If you are new to Zubuntu or XFCE in general, uh, it is a very easy system to tweak and, and do all kinds of modifications and whatnot to. Um, simply right clicking on a panel and you can remove the panel. Um, you can pull up, if you go to properties there, um, and actually that's for the separator that I had my my uh, clicker on but you can go to um, panel preferences and go and you know tweak the various aspects of the panel itself you can go and add new items to the panel you can go and add 
uh, another panel and put it at the bottom, put it over on the left, right, or whatever you wanted to do. Um, let's see if you go to there to add new items, all kinds of different things that you can add. And uh, you know, adding is you know really simple. Like let's say for example, we'll put on this CPU graph. Just click add. It's added over there, and then okay. So now that we've got that. You can click it and it pulls up that little task manager. If you want to get rid of it again, now you can go and move it if you'd like. Maybe drag it down here. You could remove it. Real simple, easy to work with. Of course, you can change the, the, the color and look and all that kind of stuff of the various panels as well. Uh, and actually, kind of, I had a lot of people that liked my uh, how I set up Lubuntu video. So I'm going to do basically the same thing for Zubuntu. You know, just basically how I would set up a desktop, um, things that I would add, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, personally, like I said, this isn't a bad distribution, but the way it's set up now is not how I like it. First of all, I don't like any icons on my desktop. Um, you know, my first preference is going to be key, keyboard launching everything. My second preference would be a dock across the bottom or over on the left or right. That's just kind of, you know, the way I, I like to work at things. I don't like the icons on the desktop, um, and uh, I really don't like working with the menus either. Uh, like I said, I like keyboard launchers for the most part. Well, that about finishes things up for this video. I realize that this was a rather short review compared to a lot of my reviews, but like I said there's not a whole lot new here and once again it's not a bad distribution there's just not a whole lot of new stuff to see um, I will go and do up a short video on how I would set up a Zubuntu desktop uh, and if people are interested I will do up the videos on how to tweak the whisker menu over here with menu Libre also how to add some extra functions to Thunar so that you can open his root and things like that and whatnot. Um, other things you can do to Zubuntu, you can go and add Compiz for effects. You can also add, I've added, I've done Compiz, I've done uh, Kwin, which is what is what the, uh, the Kubuntu and KDE people use for desktop effects. I've also done oh shoot what is the one that's used in elementary OS? I'm, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, it's not Mutter, that's what's used in uh, in uh, GNOME. Oh well, like I said, I'm drawing a blank on that, but there's various window managers that I've added and you know all of them seem to work well. Of course you're not running quite as light of a desktop anymore but if you want to have those special effects you're going to have to pay for it um, so like I said that about finishes things up give us a big old thumbs up on uh, on this video if you enjoyed it as always leave questions comments suggestions for new videos all that kind of stuff down below be sure to subscribe if you want to keep seeing these videos and thanks a lot we'll see you on the next one